which uh, has been put in front of us. Um, are you going to be presenting that? Um, what are we going to say? I can answer any questions you have about this. Okay. Um, obviously, this was a review taken. We've already this was a review which was taken. Um, happy to have questions, recommendations, feedback. We've also got Mark here, so the committee's uh, in agreement. Just going to let Mark speak for uh, no more than two minutes. Uh, Try to be more restrained in the committee, Mark, if you would. Off you go. Thank you for allowing me to speak, Chair. Um, the initial survey was done between the 28th of April and the 12th of May and you've got all the details there and the fairly hair-raising comments that were made by members of the council, members of the various scrutiny committees. I highlight that the, um, for a survey of this type, kind, 18% response rate is a little low and only one member of the public responded to this survey uh, and the main recommendation would be, and this is a recommendation that neighbourhoods and the economy of both scrutiny committees which have discussed this report already have uh, both said that they want, is for this survey to be conducted again. You also have uh, in your hands a copy of a report called the Scrutiny Mutiny which is by the People's Environmental Scrutiny Team and there are a series of recommendations there, some of which were sent to uh, the organisers of the survey after the deadline, and those are on page two, uh, and those are all concrete, affordable recommendations, and there are some further recommendations on the back page. Um, I would say, in closing, that scrutiny, you guys do scrutiny really well, you know it matters. I don't think the people of Manchester know what you do, why you do it, how you do it, and how they can be involved in it. And I think that's a really, really important thing, especially in a, in a city that has such a preponderance of one political party. And by the way, in absolute closing, I'm not a member of any political party. Uh, I'm sympathetic to green causes, but if this council was dominated by 95 green party members, I would be performing exactly the same sort of role. Thank you. Members, can I just ask Mark a quick question? Who is the scrutiny mutiny? How many members and who does it consist of? The, the scrutiny mutiny is the, simply the title of the report. The People's Environment, and the report was largely written by me, but I canvassed other people who've attended scrutiny committee meetings and subgroups, and some of their recommend, or some of their comments are on page three. I think from memory there were four people who I could quote. There were other people who I didn't quote because they were even more inflammatory. The People's Environmental Scrutiny team has met twice. The first meeting had 16 people. The meeting on Monday had 18 people. These are public meetings and you're all very welcome. The next meeting is on the 20th of October. So People's Environmental Scrutiny team produces reports and holds events. And what you've got there, the Scrutiny Mutiny, is simply one report. Does, does that clarify? Thanks. Um, Nigel. Um, so, we all have brought the remarks before, there's some position there by the commentary. Um, I think it's worth highlighting. One recommendation I'd like to from here is that if we go to the council website for future meetings, the, the top is meetings that have in the past, not meetings that are upcoming. I think it'd be a lot easier if we actually went on that type page for meetings and people would see what's coming up rather than what we've missed. I think that's something quite simple and easy to do, and that means that I've been trying to do better, and that would be quite beneficial. I'm just going to remind that Sarah, who just happens to be here, to the table. <laughs> you don't have to, you can just look at it, it's already been implemented, that change. Yeah. It says on the opening, it says most recent meetings, and then it says previous and future meetings, and then we'll do so there. Well, if you go to that gender enforcement meeting, most recent meetings, the meetings that have taken place, the previous and the future meetings are down by individual committee, and you've got to go down there to look to find which committee it is. I'm saying it should be the other way around. Most, the future meetings should be at the top, not most recent meetings. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. We can change it however you want it to. That, 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 I get that. If we can do that, it's, it's, that's yeah, it's not coming. Okay. Members? Else? Have we got anything to comment on the, um, the, 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 the reporting back on this committee? 
I found it quite encouraging, I say, and, and I apologise if obviously this feel a little bit uh, intimidated to come to this committee, but that's the way, I, I, I don't want it to feel intimidating, but I do want to feel that like this committee is going to uh, grill them uh, if, if there's something which we need further detail on. Shall I then, Mark? Yeah, I think there's, uh, in Mark's thing, there are a couple of simple things, and I, I think just, I agree with him, and they are things that could happen in time for through the meeting next time around, and that is some issue with uh, concierges and receptionists knowing where the meetings are so that members of the public can ask, and those signs that do say the public are not, please do not pass this, you know, it, it can be intimidating, I realise we take no notice of them because we just walk around, but some way of saving I don't know, some town halls have um, boards in their hallways <coughs> that say today's meetings are, and it's this scrutiny, that scrutiny, this thing, this, that, well even today. <coughs> it, it's just written on a scrap of bit of paper. We really ought to have a board in the front hall that says today's meetings are. I'm going to a board at the front of the town hall, I'm just inside the town hall. Yeah, but, yeah. So where members of the public can know that if they do pass one of those signs, they're not going to get beaten by bears or something. A lot of bears in the tunnel. <laughs> um, Mark? Uh, um, ANCMA has oh, sorry. all switched. Oh, sorry, 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 I, I apologise. Mark, the Mark. Um, we're discussing the Thank you, Mark. 